Hi, and welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Kyle Hilliard in the corner. Hello, I'm here. And we're looking at Riggs Mechanized Combat League from mm -hmm. Guerrilla Games. And as you might expect, judging from Kyle and his ridiculous getup, this is a virtual reality game on PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. Or PSVR for short, right? Yeah, PS4 VR. PS4 VR. Colon fun times. All right, there you go. So tell me about this game, Kyle. What are you doing? So I see robots. I'm kind of like in the lobby area, sort of. Like I can. This is my. Uh, this is my player character. I uh, made her look really weird. She's got all kinds of mismatched colors because I've unlocked certain things. This is my favorite uh, rig that mm -hmm. I found. This is the cheerleader. It's an engineer style chassis. It scrambles the radars of nearby opponents and heals nearby teammates. So ah. it's a good time. And you can actually unlock all kinds of other rigs. Okay. There's like four standard ones. Like this guy's heavy, mm -hmm. uh, but powerful. This guy's kind of middle mid-range. This guy can double jump and this guy can float. Uh, in the air, kind of above the arena. Sting like a bee. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Excellent. And then there's like each. Then there's like different classes among those four. So I'm gonna stick with the cheerleader. Okay. Because I just I happen to enjoy that one. And we're gonna play an offline match. I've got two teammates here, mm -hmm. and I'm on the dragons because he looks like Shenron from Dragon Ball Z. So that's why I picked that team. And we're gonna go play some Let's some power slam here. For the next match. And this game, it, it's kind of like I it's. It's sort of this like new sub genre of sports where it's like has like Rocket League and mm -hmm. Video Ball and iDarb and well, Cyberball. Yeah, I guess it's you know it's been around for a while, but now it's kind of resurfacing. You know. Yeah, because people like the activities accompanying sports, but hate sports. <laughs> that's, that's right. You hit the nail on yeah. the head. Exactly. You're so smart. It's like I can't move around quickly or throw a ball, but if I were in a robot. Which makes me think of another question, Kyle, for you. Rigs. Yes. It's all uppercase. Is it stand for something? I don't think it... It must, but I don't know what it is. It never comes up. The announcers never talk about it. Really? Yeah. So this is how every match starts. <laughs> wow. Get... I would I would prefer a Titanfall thing where the robot grabs you and just jams you inside of it, but <laughs> I guess that, that well, works too. Drone. I think you'll see like it cuts to black a lot because mm -hmm. if they did too much of that stuff, like you would start getting sick, I yeah. think. Like even this, like I by the way, I have never played this standing. I've always played this seated. Okay. So sometimes that kind of changes my balance a little bit. Okay, you're gonna be a little woozy guy then. Yeah. Possibly. So because I played this a little bit and roll this up was the game sleeves. that kind of had a, some degree of notoriety within the GI offices as being the game that makes you want to puke. Yeah. So Reiner and Andy were talking about that. And uh, like this was the one that's been kind of the, the test for people in their endurance. And you and haven't thrown up yet, have you? No, I... I ever. Ever in my life. Okay. I'm like that character from that Will Ferrell movie uh, where he plays basketball. Or Joey Tribbiani, whatever. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a better one. Um, yeah, this game, I am getting used to it the more I play. Mm -hmm. But it is... Oh, I just got knocked out, so I got okay. ejected from my mech. And you'll see... Your rig. It, my rig, excuse we me. can't use the M word. And then I can pick where I want to land, and you'll see it kind of... Um, it'll... Oh, God, this is Your really knees are me buckling. Out. Yeah. You don't look good. You look like they... <laughs> You're it's gonna draw. happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we so, have like a meter on the screen of just like discomfort level. Uh, well, I will Ooh. say, the more I play, the more I kind of get used to it, and and you kind of got to play. And it, the way like you're not pointing at us for the record. Oh, Kyle. okay, all right. <laughs> the matches go pretty quick, so you're not spending a ton of time in VR, which is probably good. Like you uh -huh. get a lot of breaks between matches and stuff like that. Right. But the way the game works is you have. Um, you know, your movement on the left analog stick, mm -hmm. and then you can look around. Um, let's pick another place to drop down here. And and then you can you can fire with the uh, control sticks. And you'll see uh, in the right there, you, you have three modes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm getting shot at. Ah, crap. Uh, and you have like a mode where you can kind of divert power to all your speed. Mm -hmm. You have a mode where you can divert it to your shield. And you have a mode where you can divert it to your weapons. And you're going to be switching between those as you make it through each match. So like I'm going full speed right now to try to find someone. Okay. And then I'm gonna switch over to power up my weapons here. That's a pretty speedy little process, isn't it? Yeah, it's just all they're all the face buttons so you can switch really fast. Now something I can't tell is are you dead or alive right now? I'm dead. What's going like I've been I've been getting knocked out quite been, a bit okay. uh, as I'm playing here. That's what I was assuming was happening. Now I played a little bit of this and it does a good job if you look down, you know, see your legs and stuff. But you also turn your head, you see your shoulders, which is very subtle, but 
Yeah, and I... You can't see it right now because you're moving around like a maniac. Yeah, there's Whatever. just... You can actually change it. Like, you can do a setting where you kind of look left and right with the right analog stick. Mm -hmm. I have it set so I can look left and right uh, looking. And that actually helps me with the nausea. Yeah. Um, but it, it takes some getting used to, man. Like, the first couple matches that I played, I had to take the headset off and I was starting to get sick. But mm -hmm. I, you kind of learn to move slower. Yeah. And you kind of get better at keeping yourself from getting sick as you play like you don't look around wildly and stuff like that right. see i gotta i gotta stop that guy right there he's my priority okay it looks like that because what what this mode is is what we're playing right now is i can take out the other teams but i actually have to build up my like power meter mm -hmm. and go into overdrive and once i'm in overdrive then i can jump through a hoop and that gives us a point okay so i'm doing very poorly uh, this round. It doesn't look like you could do any worse, actually. I, You're I, sixth out of six. I got one takedown. Okay. Uh, so that you've got taken down. I, I think that's yeah. what happened. Oh, is that what happened? Okay. I don't know. Maybe if there's some ways that Wade could salvage this in post. Well, that's what the announcer always tells me. The announcer is very positive. Yeah. Yeah. He always is like, "Oh, you can come back from this. Don't worry." <laughs> oh yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I gotta I gotta get up that yellow ramp and jump through that yellow ring there ahead because I'm currently in overdrive mode. Okay. Hopefully I don't die on the way there because then I can get us a point. And you can dash here. here. This is exciting. Here we do it. Oh no! <laughs> that was my teammate's fault, that asshole. What the hell? He got in my way. There was some showboating. Oh, that's some bullshit. Oh my gosh. You better get out that bleep button, Wade. Bleep bloop. Man. Okay. So now if you jump through it, nothing will happen because yeah, you're not overcharged. I'm not in overdrive anymore. It's How did you get overdrive anyway? Because it wasn't of, from your based on like doing well, right? No, I think I, I had charged. It, it's it's like one of those things where it's also on just a timer. Like, oh, you know, okay. You know, you, if you're playing well, you get it faster. It's the little yellow meter there um, that's filling oh, around the circle. Meter. So I'm okay. switching over to repair mode because my health is low. Okay. Oh, it didn't help me that time though. No. And this is uh, three versus three. Uh huh. And it's uh, impossible. And it's impossible to play. Okay. Um, and let's see. And there is online, mm -hmm. so all these modes are online. There's also like standard death match, and there's a uh, there's another mode where you actually have to take a ball through a goal in order to get points. Okay, that's different. So something else you're talking about getting used to this Ugh. experience, like playing a game like this in VR, very fast. Something that takes some getting used to is when. Fava and I were looking around the office, and you you and uh, Serial sit by us. You mm. were both playing VR games, and it looked absurd. <laughs> so we were just like, what, what the hell is going on with this world? So I looked slice, slightly less cool than I usually do, is what you're saying. It just is interesting to see your friends are in uh, magical worlds that you can't go along with them because you've got a thing oh, on gosh. face. All right, get that oh, thing. No, that was a that was an explosion. Don't get the thing. Jesus. Yeah, that guy. He, that's you. a special type of mech that leaves a bomb behind when he dies. So you gotta be mm, careful with those. He got those. that perk. That's a good one. Yeah. So my over, oof, my overdrive is not good. So in this universe, this is a there sport that people are watching. Yes, that's the idea. Okay. Apparently, it's very popular. I'm told. You get to watch a guy just eat shit over. Yeah, and, over and they get ejected from their. <laughs> from their mech. Okay. And I think actually you can turn off, like see how it cuts to black there? Yes. To deploy you back in the back? I think you can turn it off where it just shows you everything. Okay. Uh, which just sounds like a nightmare to me. Right. Um, so I don't want to do that, but maybe, I don't know, maybe some people, you know, really don't have a problem with VR and it's yeah. just a great time for them. So now we've seen this mode and it doesn't look uh, like we're going to win this one. Or is it like counting down? Should we see some of the other stuff in there real quick? Yeah, let's, uh, let's cut to a different mode here. This is just a straight up team deathmatch basically. All right. So Did what this is, is we're just trying to take out the other team as much as possible. All right. I noticed it didn't look like you changed your rig, did you? No. So I, you're confident in, in the one you picked, huh? I That's like it. this one. Uh, Why? Because uh, it's, it's, it's a nice speed. It doesn't uh -huh. go too slow and too fast. I like its weapons because right. there's an assortment of different weapons. There's all my friends. Hey, guys. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's just it's just like that balanced mech. Um, the, the the one that double jumps I don't care for. Right. Uh, the one that flies with the arena is good, but it's not really good for deathmatch like this. Right. And in, in this rig, also you're guaranteed at least sixth place, so that's <laughs> yeah. got it going for it. Yeah. All right. Oh look at you! Oh my God, go. is that so, a takedown? Yep. And see now I'm switching over to health regeneration. Uh -huh. That's how you're you're supposed to play here. Okay. And I do have my radar down there at the yes. bottom. 
See now, this, I can't, oh, here we go. I also like, another thing I like about this mech is he's, uh, or, or Riggs, Rig. excuse me, Oh Rig. my oh, god, you gotta stay on brand, buddy. Wait, you can You're fix that in it. post, right? Um, is that he can go it's under, he can go under these, see, like, these places right here. Mm -hmm. Like he's short, he's a shorter rig, uh, where the rest of the rigs are much taller. So I can take like little shortcuts here like this. So um, what do you eat under there? What do I eat under there? Yeah. Uh, I, I like a good roast beef sandwich. Oh, you didn't take the bait. No, what, what did I, what was I? Did it's I a hot up? joke. It's a hot, what was the bit? What, what should have been the punchline? Well, it doesn't work if you're talking about actually like a situation where you are going under there. Because then the, the person's supposed to respond, under where? And then you oh. say, ah, oh. you're eating underwear. <laughs> and then you raise your hand slowly in victory. Oh, Wade's got it. Wade will make sure it comes out funny. He always does for oh, me. Kyle, you've never heard that one before? It's I've really good. I've never heard good. that one. You which, need to spend which, more time with he me. He skipped second grade. Which would have made me uh, made me the perfect uh, participant in that joke. Yeah, exactly. So uh, these pickups oh, help you get to overdrive faster, so they're good to grab. In fact, I am currently in overdrive, so let's try to take advantage you're just of a, that. You're a machine. Yeah, so I got my full speed. Uh -huh. When you're in overdrive, you got full speed. You got full health regeneration. Okay. Mm, there we go. So what team are you fighting? Ooh. You're you're fighting the you're the dragons. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who we're fighting actually. There's Nobody's like there's eight different teams. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm not barf. sure. We'll see soon at halftime. It'll show us who we're fighting against. Okay. Um, I just say I'm a little disappointed with the halftime ah, show. It yeah. is a real bummer. There's, well, there's nothing. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. I think they had a band lined up, um, but they got yeah. caught in a storm okay. or something. Has that ever happened at the Super Bowl? Oh, oh I'm gosh. sure. It's uh, oh. almost every year. <laughs> Those pesky this storms pest getting in the pattern. way. <laughs> All right. So how we're actually doing pretty good. It's, fifth, it's 16 to 9. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. I got about a quarter of my overdrive. Oh, Your OD. Four seconds to go here. You're gonna want to shoot in, buddy. Let's see. Oh, there's someone behind me. Hey. Oh, their match is over. Ah. Uh, Cobra. Ah, uh, the Cobras. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's you basically get the idea. That's that's uh, rigs here. Is okay. It's it's more. It has more in common with like a Rocket League mm -hmm. than it does like. Uh, armored core or something like that. It's not really uh, an action game. It's a sports game where you're trying to score points and and kill the yeah. other team. And uh, it's uh, I I like what I've played. Like I mm -hmm. like the core mechanics of the game, uh, but it the the sort of whether or not it makes you sick is a problem. It took some getting used to for me. Like my first couple matches. I had a, a pretty rough headache after I was done. Your cheeks kept inflating like you were holding something back. There was a lot of this happening. Uh, where You know, I sit next to you as we established earlier. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of this happening behind you, Cork. That's a quarter point. Oh, okay, I lost a point. Yeah. But uh, And I think there's a demo on the uh, PlayStation VR if you buy PlayStation VR. So you can try it out and see if it makes you sick. But... As far as like you know, good games to start VR with, I, I think this one's up there because it has a lot of replay value. It's mm -hmm. like a fun online multiplayer game. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the nausea is the big issue. Oh, oh gosh. gosh, we're friends. Come on, man. But yeah, so that's Riggs. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Because without you, this would have been real boring. Kyle. Yeah, I don't think you anything would have happened really. Yeah, you know. All right. Watch later.